Hi, I'm Tim Perry from Multi Channel Merchant. I'm with Stefan Spencer, the co-author of The Art of SEO, and we're going to talk a little bit about some SEO tips that can help you uh, with your site right now. Um, Stefan, here's a question for you. Let's say I'm introducing a new product like a hooded sweatshirt on my, on my site. Uh, how would I go about brainstorming the right keywords uh, with my marketing team? Great. So in the example of hooded sweatshirt, that's not really the right terminology that you want to use because your customers are typing in hoodie into Google, not hooded sweatshirt. So we want to find out what those keywords are. Are they typing in the singular or the plural, hoodie or hoodies, hooded sweatshirt or hooded sweatshirts? We don't know yet. And uh, the tools I use include Google AdWords Keyword Tool, Google Trends, and uh, for brainstorming in particular, just to kind of get ideas for uh, what's popular, but not knowing yet the actual hard numbers, I would use a tool like Suvel, S-O-O-V-L-E, which is a, a brainstorming tool, but also a, an auto-suggestion, a keyword um, kind of autocomplete tool. It pulls not only from Google, but also Yahoo, YouTube, Answers.com, Wikipedia, Amazon, and uh, Bing, and it just, uh, as you type keystrokes, it fills in the suggestions, just like when you're using Google, with Google Instant, it starts to uh, give you suggestions of the top five uh, keywords that start with those keystrokes. Same sort of technology. So that's a tool that I've used, Quintura is another one. Some of these are free, some are, are paid, but uh, most of the tools that I use are free ones. Any other, any other tools out there that you would recommend for other, uh, for other SEO purposes? Oh, absolutely. So for link building, I love link research tools. Uh, it's linkresearchtools.com. It's a tool set of at least, I think, a dozen different tools in there, like the Backlink Profiler, Competitive link Landscape Analyzer, uh, Link Detox. Uh, let's see, just a yeah, ton of different tools. Some of them will pull contact information from websites. So if you're wanting to find a, a list of people to contact. Speaking of which, uh, there's another great tool that's coming out called Pitchbox. It's not released yet, but that will be a fantastic tool for link outreach, reaching out to bloggers and influencers with requests to write guest blog posts or what have you. Um, but back to the link building side, if you have um, you know, link analysis tools like Link Research Tools and Majestic SEO and Open Site Explorer and Ahrefs in your arsenal, that would be a good set to start with. And then for link outreach, I would uh, sign up for Pitch box, and then for uh, competitive analysis, I'd use SEM Rush and uh, Search Metrics. Both of those tools will give you reports on what your competitors are getting traffic for, which keywords. You can pull that list of keywords and then um, buy AdWords for those keywords or start doing SEO against those keywords. Uh, for so we already talked about keyword research for like uh, uh, content analysis. There's a uh, very inexpensive, like $5 a year tool called SEO Browser. It will check how many links you have on a page, how many images, how many of those images have all attributes, whether you have a canonical tag present, all these different things, and it will show you the page kind of as the, the robots see it. So that uh, is seo-browser.com. You had mentioned some social media earlier, and I know I've, I've seen a lot in the search engine results pages, I've seen a lot of Google Plus uh, references coming up, um, and I know you're also big on WordPress blogs. Uh, right now, if you're, uh, which one is going to be more effective uh, for you? Is there, is there, is there one going to be more effective than another, or is it a, you should be trying both? Yeah, so they're different things, and I'd absolutely do both. With a blog, you're you, you have a search engine friendly platform right out of the box. WordPress is very search engine friendly, so content will have a much better chance of ranking when it's a WordPress blog than, say, Typepad or something like that. Now, as far as uh, Google Plus is concerned, you want to have uh, each of your authors of content on your, on your uh, site or blog should have a Google Plus personal profile. You'll want to have a company profile as well, but specifically I'm, I'm saying personal profile so that they can claim authorship of the content that they write. When you have articles or how-to guides or a blog post, 
you associate an individual author uh, with that piece of content that was written. And, and that will then cause a thumbnail to show up if you've done it correctly, claimed authorship with, um, uh, there's a, a, a page on Google, it's at plus.google.com slash authorship. So you go to that page and you follow the instructions and you'll end up with a little thumbnail headshot of the author of that content next to the, as part of the search listing. It's called a rich snippet. And some studies have found that it's like 30 some percent imp improvement in click-through rate from the search results when you have a rich snippet present. So I definitely want to uh, get a, a headshot thumbnail whenever possible. And no Google Plus page, no, no assumption. All right, thank you, Seth. You bet.